Hi guys, welcome to Tango and Racket Tutorials. Today we are going to navigate through Skyscanner, show you how to pick up a ticket, try to get the best price out of it, and going through a little about the main features of this great platform that we love. So the first thing that I will show you today is the login option. You have the alternative to use your personal email, Google accounts, Facebook, and Apple. Nevertheless, you can still work on the platform without uh, having to log in mandatory. The other thing that you can set up to get better results, especially from offer and good deals, will be your location. In our case, we are going to use Spain. We are located there. You can set up your language as well. You have many options, so probably you find something that suitable for you and finally you can set up the currency in which the prices are going to be displayed so euro for us <coughs> then the first thing that you have is in the top left as you can see are three options one is for booking flights the other is for booking hotels and the other is for car hiring unfortunately in sky scanner you cannot book a full package including everything so in case you need all of them you will need to book them individually however today we are going to be focusing just on flights so as you can see here the first thing that you you will find on the page is the the option to book a ticket with all the alternative from to uh, the parking day return etc we are going to, to go back to this later on, on this tutorial. Now I want to show you a little bit what else there is on the, on the page. So, the option of, as I said, the option of flight is going to be the default on this page. And if you scroll a little bit down, you will find some, some deals that they are offering to us based on the country of location that we, we put before. In our case, we are located. We are getting deals from Barcelona because we are located there, and as you can see, we get good deals to go to Rome, Milan, and London. The prices are pretty, pretty good. But the only problem is that you need to go on very specific days, go and return in that specific one. Nevertheless, if you don't know where to go or when to go, this is a good beginning alternative. Down, we will find some information related to COVID-19. We can find some information related to which countries are allowed to visit and which ones are not allowed or which ones are not recommended. Uh, you can see it in, in a lead version of the map. And as well, you can subscribe to get updates about all, all the new restrictions, all allowance, etc very useful in this period because sometimes they are looking for a ticket, you are not sure if you are allowed to go to that place or not. So, if you are not pretty sure, you can start digging a little bit more here. So, scrolling down a little bit more, we have the section of frequently asked questions. We find it very useful in some cases because, for example, now you have very good indication about what to do if your flight is cancelled, during the COVID-19 situation. So here you will have some indication, or also you have indication how to find the best deals in the page. So it's worth the effort to read it a little and see if you can find some useful information. Scrolling a little bit down, we will find some <coughs> information related to the, to the main feature and advantages of Skyscanner. So the first one that we see is the option everywhere that basically we will go a little bit deeper into this but it means that if you're not sure where you want to go you can just set up this option and you will get to to see a lot of alternative from your uh, departing play, uh, country or city and a lot of options from the not specific ones and it's going to be sorted out from cheapest to the most expensive but then we will go a little bit more in, in detail 
Then we have a little explanation on how it works the, the payment and the fees with the tickets in Skyscanner because uh, they are not really selling the tickets. So they explain you how that, uh, that final fee is transferred to you. And the last option is related to the price added. So, for example, if you find a ticket that you like, you like the time, you like the airline, but you are not pretty sure about the price, you can set up the price. You will, get, you will also get an arrow if the price goes up, but that will not really be useful for you. <coughs> so, scrolling a little bit down and to finish with homepage, we have more information about COVID-19 in terms of how to get the best flexibility of the ticket, restrictions, uh, safety rules, and so on. And the last thing is the option to subscribe to the newsletter and update. Scanner, so you will receive all the deals that they are releasing to the market every day. Okay. So going back a little to the ticket reservation that is the main focus of today. As we described before, this is the default uh, alternative that you will get when you come to the home page. Then if you want, you can navigate to hotels. As you can see, and you can navigate to car hire as well. But today we are going to be working on flights. So, back there. The first option that we have here is to, to decide if we want to take a, a two-way ticket, meaning return ticket, only one way in case that you don't know when you are coming back or that you are combining with other transport. <coughs> and the last option is multi-city, which where you can add many cities. If you are having a long itinerary, you can put all here and then you can get the final price for everything. So, in our case, we are going to work with a simple return ticket today. Then we have the options that we need to fill in order to, to get the, the result of our set. So, you have the city from where you are departing, the city that you are arriving, departing day, returning day. Passengers, adults, and children, which will vary the, price, the final price probably. <coughs> and then, if you want to look tickets for a specific uh, typology of class, per class, region, premium, etc., in our case, we have economy. Then we have other options when you are looking for return or return tickets or multi city where you can. In the case that in the city that you are arriving or you are departing, there are not airports, you can think about the nearest airport to the point that you wanted to depart or arrive. Then you can also to flag this al this option, this alternative, if you just want to see results that are direct flights to the uh, final destination. So, let's say that we are departing from Barcelona now to go to some exam real examples to make it more fun. <coughs> and as we were explaining before, there is an option that is the one, the, the one that we want to show you first, that is called Everywhere. Let's say that we know that we are departing from Barcelona, but we are not really sure where we want to go. We want to see some options, prices. And let's say that we are traveling from 11 to 18, 18 of January to not over complicate it, only one adult. And let's go to see what are the results for that. <coughs> Most likely what we are going to find here are a, a list of countries where you can go from the from the source the, uh, city or country, sorry. And it's going to be sorted out by price. In our case, the cheapest option, of course, is to travel in Spain because we are in Spain. Then, if you open a little the menu of that country, you will see that there are many destinations and different prices. In our case, you can go to Ibiza, to Palma, Malaga, Seville, and so on. And as you can see, you have also a lot of alternatives. You can go for less than 50 euros. You can go to Spain, Portugal, France, Italy, United Kingdom, Belgium, Greece, Austria, and Czech Republic, now called Czechia. So this will be a little bit uh, how it works, the everywhere uh, option. But okay, let's go back a little to the 
to the flight selection option. Now let's work out uh, with the most uh, easy example. Let's say that we want to go from Barcelona to Paris. And now we have two options here. We can work with fixed dates, which generally will will get us the price that it is, but it will not give you much flexibility. But there is a second option that is also very interesting. Let's say that we are flexible in terms of which day we want to go to that specific place. Then instead of using this, this specific date option, we can use the whole month option. In our case, we can pick January. And we will get all the, all the prices through the month of January in this place. So if we go there. As you can see, in the case that we pick a return ticket, we will see two calendars. If you just pick one way ticket, you will see only one calendar here. And then you get the price depending on the date that you want to travel. As you can see, every day has a specific price. And then you can see it in shape of calendar or in shape of chart graph. So you can see easily which is the cheapest day for the trip that you want to make. However, I prefer to use it in the calendar. We don't make it very complicated. Let's say that we go on 7 and we come back on 14. Then we will get some results. If you scroll down a little, you will see that it will give you results for flights and for hotels for your destination. In our case, we are going to be focusing on the flight. So we need to click here and we see some results. Now it's loading on the results. And the first option that I would like to show you here is the price alert. Let's say that the price is not bad, but we are not sure. We think that maybe you can get a little bit down through the day. What you can do is set up a price alert. The only thing is, is that if you want to take profit of this option, you will need to be registered or log in with some of the options that they are providing, like email, Google, Facebook, or Apple. In our case, we are going to leave it as it is to make it faster. Now, as you can see, for the destination, there are a lot of flights, different times, different companies operating it. So it's a little bit messy to find the most appropriate for us. So here it goes that if you see in the left part of your screen, you have a lot of uh, filters to apply to the result. For example, the first one is how many stops you want to do, two, one, or only direct flights. So in our case, we are going to leave it only in direct flights to reduce a little. Then you can also pick at what time you want to leave. Because for example, let's say that you are traveling a, a Friday and you want to directly go to the airport from work. So you need to find something that goes after 17, 18 in the afternoon. And opposite, when you're returning, you want to return as late as possible to take the most profit of the last day in the country that you are visiting. So pick it after seven. Then in this case, it doesn't really make sense because it's a short trip from Barcelona to Paris, but you can also choose how long you want your trip to last which makes sense, for example, if you are traveling from Barcelona to Pekin and you know that the minimum trip is 13 hours, but it says, I don't want to travel 36. And there are options with two combinations that maybe last that time. So to avoid that, you say, no, my maximum is going to be 14 hours. And you set it up here. Then the next filter is going to be to select if you have some favorite airline, some airline that you really don't want to travel with, or if you have some membership or my uh, account with some of the airlines, then you can pick that specific one, if it is available, of course. And then you can as well choose airports. In the case of Paris, you have alternative. Other cities, you won't have this alternative. But now we have it, which makes it more interested, interesting. So let's say that we want to arrive to charge the goal because early and Bouvet are really far from the center, so we want to avoid them. 
And the last option that you can use as a filter is to pick if your flight is eco-friendly or not. In our case, we're going to leave it as it is. And now, as you see, the amount of results have been reduced a lot. Nevertheless, there is also not only filtering option, but sort option. You can choose by the best option, uh, the cheapest one, the fastest one, with the one that is closest to the outbound time that you choose on the return. In our case, we like to filter it as the cheapest first because it's according to us the best alternative. And let's say that we like this, this flight. It's, it's cheap enough, it's operated by Air Europa. We traveled before with them, so it's okay. And then you have other alternatives, or even you have the case where probably this flight is the same, operated by two different companies with a slightly increment in the price. But let's say that we pick the first the first option. In this case, we can go here to see a little bit more the details. You can see the date, the departure, how long it, it takes the flight, which airline is operating, and the same for the return. So if you scroll a little bit down, you will find all the travel agencies and travel operators that are selling that specific ticket that you find in Skyscanner. And here it's important to make a clarification. Skyscanner is not selling tickets. It's only a tool or a platform to search for tickets. So the moment of buying the ticket, you will be transferred or redirect to a third party company, where in this example could be Travel Genius, Trip, My Trip, Travel TV, E Dreams, etc. etc. So, if you should have any problem with your ticket, or you need to cancel, or you need to change the date, or whatever problem you have, all that has to be done through the specific company where you or company or travel agency or operator where you bought the ticket. That kind of things are not going to be managed by Skyscanner team. And that is important to know because it's a kind of negative side of the coin that you don't end up your, your purchase directly on Skyscanner where you pick the ticket, but it's okay. It's just a flow. So then at this point, uh, you will see that you get many results. They are, uh, they are a standard, they are sold by, from the lower price, and then it goes increasing, increasing, increasing. So generally, you will pick the cheapest one. In our case, you're going to pick this option, Travel Genio. You select. And as you can see on the screen now, you are being redirected to a third party com uh, page. And at this point, you don't have more than repick the ticket, which is a little bit of a fuss because you already did it in Talcana. That's why we would prefer to pay there, but okay. You need to pick the ticket and then you will go to the payment and alternative if you want to, to, to put some extra suitcase or VIP treatment, whatever. But okay, this is not going to, to be part of of our tutorial of today. So this will be everything that we have to share today uh, about Skyscanner. Uh, so if you have any other doubt or anything else that you would like to know, leave a comment in the section below. If not, thanks for watching and don't forget to visit our blog www.tangoandrakia.com and you will find more useful information and post about travel tips and gastronomy. Thanks for watching and we hope you to see you back again. Bye.